Okay. <laughs> start off every video saying, okay. Let's start off every video going, okay. <laughs> um, you know, the axioms is, is that you always get what you pay for. And that, of course, is a generalization. Now, a generalization is true because it's generally true. However, that's certainly not always the case. Um, I found a lot of stuff in life, whether it be photographic equipment or otherwise, that is not only far cheaper, but made better and a far superior product. What have I told you? Now, it's really hard to say, especially when it comes to tripods. It's like talking about uh, gear bags. It's like recommending underwear. It's like whatever fits you or feels the best isn't necessarily the case because it's far more subjective, especially the type of photography that you do or what the hell sort of rig you plan on mounting on it. Um, now, you can easily... Now, Gitzo is now owned by Manfrotto, and Gitzo has gone whew, way downhill, insanely overpriced, the most horribly overpriced product, and they do make a really good tripod. Is really right stuff. However, not only is it insanely, over -exp insanely expensive, it's also an inferior product to one particular tripod. And you're not going to believe me, but let me point out some facts to you, okay? So this video is about my top recommended must-buy tripod. Now, that would be a general-use tripod. General use, meaning most everything. Kind of like a Toyota Corolla. Toyota Corolla is no good for going in the mountains or backwoods, but as a general-purpose automobile, I think Corolla's been rated number one for several years, so when I say best tripod, don't get all nitpicky on my ass and say, well, it's not the best for, you know photographing with my 4x5, you know, give it a rest with that sort of uh, nitpicky stuff. Um, now, $300 for this tripod, or if you order it from China, 260 bucks. Now, the Really Right Stuff tripod, which is a TQC-14, is $900. So this is a third as much, and it's actually a superior tripod. Now, whatever head you plan on mounting on it, obviously, is your own choice. This is the Siri... Uh, 2205 tripod, carbon fiber. Now, it's the exact same way as the Really Right Stuff. Now, why am I comparing it to the Really Right Stuff? The only thing that's comparable in quality and specifications is the Really Right Stuff tripod, which is exactly three times as much money. Okay? $900 versus this. USA price is $300. You order it from China, it's 250 bucks right now, I think, on eBay. This is a superior tripod. By the way, you can actually invert this tripod very easily by unscrewing uh, the base on this. It unscrews. You're actually able to invert it in about 20 seconds. By the way, if you actually check the base, you're actually able to put a load on this for heavy wind. It's actually spring-loaded, so you can actually hang a weight or some ballast underneath it. It's better than the uh, really right stuff, or certainly so in Manfrotto's uh, design, which is actually side-saddled to the main chassis. Additionally so, well obviously not as many people own the Really Right Stuff tripod because it's insanely overpriced at $900, but the actual user review and the actual user approval rating is far higher. Don't believe me, go to Amazon.com or B&H Photo, you will see that this tripod is a 5 star out of 5 star. It's a 10 out of 10 across the board over everybody that's purchased it. Now. There's no other tripod out there, whether it be Gitzo, Manfrotto, or Really Right Stuff, that has that sort of approval rating. By the way, in addition to that, this actually has screw-out spike feet. Okay, They'll actually extend past the spike cone about 6 millimeters. This is a 5-section tripod. Now, the load capacity on this is a little bit more than the Really Right Stuff. This one is a 26.5 pound load capacity. Um, the Really Right Stuff is 25. Let's say they're the same. This one actually folds down a lot smaller to 14.6 uh, 14 inches. The Really Right Stuff one uh, folds down to, well, not pretty close, near, basically 18 inches. Max height is only an inch difference between the two, 58 inches on the Really Right Stuff. 57 inches on this, and this is, like I said, the Siri T2205X. Five refers to the uh, five sections. The second two in it refers to the fact that it's carbon fiber. This is a superior tripod for a crap load less money. 
Um, the weight is exactly identical. You're going to say, wait, not only is it collapsed down further, but the weight is a lot less. It's 2.6 pounds. Exact same weight, 2.6 pounds on the really right stuff. Um, you get an additional center column, which I've stored it away somewhere ages ago, but it lets you actually screw on another 4 inches onto this, which I find uh, somewhat useless. It does come with a really nice uh, travel case and sling right here. 300 bucks. This is better than Manfrotto, it's better than Gitso, and it's better than the Really Right Stuff. Now, actually, it is the case, and I have used the Really Right Stuff a tripod, the TQC-14, and I have my hands on a couple other uh, Really Right Stuff tripods. If they were both exactly the same price, and I didn't know what the price of, the, of, the, of, of what uh, you know, both tripods were, I would still choose this, the Siri uh, tripod, the 2205. Uh, it's a forged aluminum chassis, carbon fiber. It uh, collapses smaller. It is more simpler in design. It is a better design. It ha carries a larger load capacity, not by much. Um, the user rating on it is higher than the really right stuff. This with this uh, Manfrotto, um, this is a medium format head. This is their uh, bulky bulky head is uh, exactly 13 excuse me uh, 3 pounds uh, 14 uh, yeah 3 pounds 14 ounces nearly 4 pounds this is a better tripod the exact same locking mechanism on the legs the only thing with this particular head that I have on here and it's barely noticeable unless you look really closely is that Fold it up since the head is so fat. Yeah, well, just like me, right? Fold it up the head so fat that the legs don't actually come all the way flush to parallel with the center shaft, but that's no big deal. You can barely notice that. This is it. Three pounds, 14 ounces. This is the absolute best tripod for the money. Far better than the really right stuff. If you want to invert this to do macro photography, like I said, all you have to do is unscrew this section. Let me show you how long it takes me to do it. Let me unscrew it. The hook keeps getting in my way. I got about 20 threads on this before it unscrews. Take that out, flip it around, screw the center section back on top again, and you're actually able to invert it for macro photography or product photography, whatever you want. Um, it's got two roll pins on the center portion, whereas the really right stuff is glued. I'm trying to think of another way. Like I said, better user ratings, far better price, much better value. This is actually made better than the really right stuff one. This is made better than the really right stuff tripod, which is $900. Now, with the head... Now, I know we're talking about the Really Right Stuff Tripod Arca Swiss Head, which I forget the BHQ something something designation. $900 plus, it's basically $500 with the throw lever, which is their best one as far as I'm concerned. You're looking at basically $1,400. Now, USA price on this tripod plus $150 on the Pro uh, Ball Head, the Manfrotto. By the way, this is the uh, uh, MHX Pro uh, uh, BHQ2. $300 plus $150 for the head. So, the really right stuff is $1,400 basically, and this is $450. So, for $1,000 less, you have a better tripod, which holds more weight, which has spiked feet, which has better user ratings across the board from Amazon and B&H Photo of all the user ratings. Uh, a 5 out of 5 across the board on this tripod. Better ratings than the Really Right Stuff tripod, which is three times as much money. 450 bucks versus $1,400. Now, if you want to impress somebody out in the middle of nowhere, and someone goes, uh, comes up to you and says, Oh my God, you got a Really Right Stuff tripod. And you really want to piss away. And I mean literally, piss. You know... Drop your pants and take a whiz. Piss away another $1,000 for a tripod that says it's got really right stuff on there. If you want to stick an Arca, I don't like Arca Swiss. I'll make a video right after this telling you why I don't like Arca Swiss. This is uh, not Arca Swiss. This is actually a Manfrotto, uh, Manfrotto head uh, plate. 
If you want to piss away a thousand dollars more just to say you want to really write stuff tripod, then please be my guest because I don't get paid either way regardless of what you buy. I don't. This is a better tripod. Let's say, <clears throat> well, let's see, what could I do with that extra thousand dollars? I could buy another one of these so I could have one that I'm actually doing uh, photography with and the other one that I'm using to film myself. Let's say, well, most of you are not YouTube uh, YouTube vloggers, so you don't need that, but I'd have enough money left over <laughs> to buy in, in, in another one of these with the head and then have another $500 left over to take a trip to Florida. <laughs> it's, 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 it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. They really write stuff and uh, Siri get their carbon fiber tubes from the same place. Like 90% of all carbon fiber tubes. I think nearly, it's, it's above 95%. All come from China. <sighs> really right stuff is not made. And they're no more durable than this is. No. Actually, the wall thickness, I'm told, on the uppermost portions is thicker than on the really right stuff. This one folds down more. This one has spike feet. It has better user rate. Can I be more succinct? And saying that this is a better tripod. So this is it. This is my recommendation for your must-own tripod. Um, by the way, did I mention that I've handled more tripods than all of you? Yeah, not that that means anything. Now, tripods don't fall on the level of uh, camera bags, where it's really like underwear. You know, it's like you can't recommend the best underwear because my shape is definitely not your shape, and you know, you might not like silk. No. <laughs> Things like backpacks, too, are very subjective depending on what you pack and your body style and what, how you like the load distributed. But, uh, you know, this falls definitely underneath backpack. But it's still subjective. It's like, well, what do you want to do? You know, maybe you need something that's heavy, super heavy duty, which I can't imagine why. This will already pack a medium format camera. It's already rated to the head of 22 pounds. I mean, for Christ's sakes, what the hell are you going to mount on this thing? Um, it'll take more capacity uh, load-wise, not by much, just by a pound and a half over the really right stuff. Right? But it's the exact same weight. This is an ingeniously simple tripod, but it is so well made. Okay, did, did, did I make myself pretty abundantly clear on this one? So this is my recommendation for the best must-own tripod. If you don't take my word for it, why don't you take the uh, user reviews of everybody on Amazon and B&H Photo. This is the one to get. Unless you want that status symbol. I own a really right stuff tripod. I, I pissed away another thousand dollars unnecessarily. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I'm so glad that you got something that says really right stuff on the side of it. That's, that's fascinating. It's fascinating. The uh, motto, which is generally true, but not always true, it is merely a generalization that you get what you pay for. Yeah, I see that doesn't always apply. You think you, you well, the best is the most expensive. That's why I got the really right stuff tripod. Oh, good for you. So you're not very smart. You just decided to piss away a crap load of money unnecessarily on a damn tripod. <sighs> Didn't you? Or you're thinking about doing that. Yeah, I got a... A really expensive camera, I'm going to get the really expensive tripod. No, no, you're buying a really expensive tripod that is absolutely not even as good as this tripod, which is a third the price. Did I make myself abundantly clear? Okay. I don't work off commission, and I have no affiliate links, so you buy whatever the hell you want to buy. Okay. I'm telling you, this is the best tripod to get, period. For the money. General purpose. Okay. You might have some sort of special needs that requires a special tripod with special capabilities, but I'm not talking about that, am I? I'm talking about a ultra-lightweight, best-value tripod. And by best value, I don't mean like, well, it's cheap and it's good enough. That's what best value generally means. But I'm not talking about best value. I'm talking about the best. If I didn't know the price of a really right stuff tripod, like the TQC14 versus this... I would still be picking this, like, well, here's two tripods. I can't tell you who made them, but just look them over for, you know, use them for a day or two, and uh, tell me which one you'd rather have, based upon quality, manufacturer, design. I'll, I'll take this one. I don't know the price, but this is the better tripod. Okay, you chose the one that's $600 cheaper. Really? Well, okay, it's fine. The best is the best. 
Because something's expensive doesn't mean it's the best. If you haven't learned that yet in life, then you ain't too smart. You know, I own a lot of really expensive stuff, camera-wise. You know, it's like, I don't know. Well, I want the cheapest stuff. You know, good enough. This is, this is the best. And just because it's cheaper doesn't mean a damn thing. Some people just don't realize that. If you want to stick an Arca Swiss head on this, I don't care what head you mount on it. I'm talking about the legs, okay? This is the Sirui T2205X. It's 305 bucks US, and if you eBay it from China, it's 240 bucks. basically, is the current price. And this is the best tripod. I hope I made that abundantly clear. If you like these videos, you can drop me a book or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff, whatever makes you happy. Because I have no affiliate links like the rest of these knuckleheads on YouTube that are, you know, talking out of the side of their mouth to get paid any way possible. Thank you. Bye.